Devil's Den. Oh, we're here. Astarion. Devil's Den. You are, uh... Well, the, this is the reason. This is the reason you're here. I am gonna try to disable Even this. if you had it, what in the nine hells would you do with it? Think a little, Captain Voss. He can be set free. I know he can be set free. Okay, that was their cutscene. I will close the door. I think we need Lazel here. Let's get her. Say goodbye to Jahira. Later then. And now let's say hello to Lazel. Join me, Lazel. It is done. Mm hmm. And I'm gonna give her nice clothes. Because I don't think. I don't think she'll be in my party for too long. So let's see how these new clothes work on her. Lazel. Hello. How do you like this? It's probably not gonna change much. Uh, watch me get. Oh. It looks good. The, the blue looks good on her. Which makes me think that. Huh. So that's one. This is green. Yeah, green and red kind of, kind of don't don't work too well. Sort of bring the brings the uh, the sort of doesn't gel too well with her skin. I would say <laughs> she's looking like a boss lady here with this thing. Just Jesus Christ! Uh, I may actually have her go with that. Oh, this is interesting. It is very skimpy, but. Especially like, look at the pants. They're like skin tight to a to a fault. Anyway, we'll uh, give her that, and let's go back to where we were. Yeah, she's looking good. That does look like a suit of armor, honestly. It's just such a big ensemble, and you know it's out of character, so I like it. Let's go. Let's see what she has to say about this. Captain Boss. Hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room. Once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. First time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Did you just cure me of the tadpole with a click of your fingers? <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? Yes. But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while. So we can enjoy some privacy. The Illithid can't hear us. Huh. What's the catch? Yeah, I trust the Illithid more than I trust you. Oh, come. It's the reason you're in this predicament. And I'm your only way out of it. Indulge me. 
And at least hear me out. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Orpheus. Very perceptive. Yes, I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. I love that I gave you that cl those clothes, Lazel. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Orpheus's guards tried to kill me. He's dangerous. To, to Elithids, yes. He would gladly execute the Emperor. But to you, he will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an elder brain. No, I don't know. The Emperor is the only reason I'm still alive. No, Orpheus is the only reason you're still alive. The Emperor is abusing the gift for its own ends. And it's doing the same to you. You're nothing more than the beast of burden that will transport it to the elder brain. An ox requires food. And the occasional beating to keep it moving. You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. But if he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. I may, which would then mean I die. That's the problem. I do think that it is possible that Orpheus or uh, that the Emperor is just either trying to usurp the Elder Brain or free, you know, the Elder Brain controls a bunch of, of uh, illithids, free those illithids. There's a bunch of reasons why he would want to kill the Elder Brain besides just, you know, j just the goodness of his art. It is worth mentioning that when I say if Orpheus... Actually, that is interesting. When I say th that I would die, I actually mean I would turn into a, a, a Mind Flayer, not die. But the problem is I'll, I would also be under control of the Elder Brain, and so would the Emperor. It's worth taking the risk. How do I free Orpheus? The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my house of hope, even now. That sounds too good to be true. Good and truth rarely go hand in hand, but in this case, they are happy bedfellows, and we can be too. I swear to you, I have the solution to your problem. It's very convenient to you that you have exactly what I need. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. There it is. Of course. What are you hoping to get out of all this? Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And... You give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kalir. I'd be insane to give such a powerful artifact to a devil. Better to have it in my hands, and far from your precious world, than in the hands of the gods and monsters that fight over this city's soul. Tell me why you're so eager to get a hold of the crown. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it, 
long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. <laughs> Zariel wouldn't like that much. But even I'm not so desperate to spite her, I'd put the Hells in this bastard's hands. Yeah, you heard of the lady. I'm not giving you the crown. What makes you think you'd succeed in using the crown where Carsus couldn't? I am no mortal! And I do not fail. Really? If you don't fail, how come you didn't get all the crown way back then? The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. It must really annoy you that some mortals managed to seal the crown when you couldn't. Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will, because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the devil asks. The prince of the comet must rise again. Lazel, you're wearing an amazing suit, but I don't think that's true. I'd rather destroy the crown than risk it falling into the wrong hands again. How short-sighted. Much better to put it into the right hands. Hands that will ensure it is removed from this world. 
And it's the only way you can ensure that you remain part of this world. No deal, Raphael. I'm leaving. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So, don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. Can he close the door? The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Because we don't need the deal. We can take the hammer from the House of Hope. That's actually what I was hoping to tell Raphael in my hubris and all that, but it wasn't given me as a choice, and I was... Yeah, that's the reason. I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. I'm annoyed by it. And I admire you for it. We must speak with Voss. Then we find our way to Raphael's House of Hope. We'll take the Orphic Hammer and use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk Githkar Chafki crash it. The Githyanki will be free. Yes. All right. So. We got some things in here. Nothing that... Oh, there are containers, though. Journal update, updated, yes. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. It was Raphael. Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? He offered me a deal. How very gumptious of him. What were the terms of this deal? He offered me the means to free Orpheus in exchange for the crown on top of the brain. Tell me, you turned him down? Yeah, of course I turned him down. Good. I am glad. But be careful. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Without my protection, you cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it, no matter what the devil whispers in your ear. Yep. Yep. I, uh... Interesting that he says without my protection. Just reminding me on purpose it's 100 percent on purpose just reminding me of oh that's this is a lovely bed i'm i'm hopefully gonna lay on it no, in a different way no i i lay it like in every other bed um but uh, reminding me of the the p particular distinction this is charess i think i keep saying that of any woman statue in this place it's, uh, it's just as a heads up the particular distinction of uh it's not him that's protecting me is actually orpheus and he knows that, but yeah. Ooh, there's food, butter buns and sour uh, sunflower. I took the stand, I don't need the stand. I'll sell it some other time. There's also orders here. White Paw, you are, or White Pawn, you are to find a high profile unsolved crime and confess to it, r turning yourself in to port here after arranging at Boulder's mouth for coverage. You know which reporter to use, your position in the F, uh, Flaming Fist, yeah. Uh, barracks should make it easy to identify a crime that, when resolved, will add greatly to Portier's renown. That will cancel your debt. Don't worry about the why. It's a pawn's place to be sacrificed so other pieces can win the game. From the Rook, from Raphael. White Bishop orders. Prepare yourself for a major speech in your temple, extolling Flame Portier for her successes protecting the city and fighting crime. She is clearly a favorite of both mortals and immortals, and you can hint that fate and destiny may conspire to place her in command at Baldur's Gate. Your sermon will be printed in full in Baldur's mouth, so remember that you are speaking not just to Helm's devotees, but to other to every citizen of the gate. 
orate, elevate, and inspire. That will cancel your debt, and I don't doubt you will end up as a key player in the new regime. Ready yourself to a bishop. And the white knight here. Your task is finally at hand. As commander of the sea tower, you're close to all the subcommanders of the flaming fist. Sound them out as their willingness to support the possibility, or as to their willingness to support the possibility of flame portier's promotion to marshal, and perhaps even beyond. Encourage those who are lukewarm to be prepared to rank themselves behind portier when events elevate her in power and prominence. However, for those who would oppose her, don't push them. Just make a note of their names and positions and they will be dealt with by other means that will cancel your debt and doubtless line you up for greater responsibilities as well. Prepare yourself. Wow. So he's behind machinations as well. Fastidiously perfect outfit. Splendid gold outfit. Mesh toe sandals. That's normal. Uh, we'll see. Shoes don't matter. We don't look at shoes. I don't look at shoes. Are these the same? I assume they're the same. They're not the same. Oh, are, are they? No, this looks cool. Yeah, all of these are different. Well, look at those pants. That looks really cool. I, I'm never switching Carlax equipment. <laughs> um, actually, well, Carlax, how do you look at this? Sorry. Doesn't work like that. Oh, actually, it looks much better on her than it does on me. Also, you can see her heart a lot better. Wow, she looks... I mean... It does look tremendous on her. Just incredible. And I look... I don't look as good as her. <laughs> uh, let's see, the fastidious. So... Do I wear this? No. Like, for the moment, it doesn't matter. But we'll we'll choose something else. I have fun with these things. I hope you do, too. Delicious viewer. Anyway, that's that. And let's just look around a little bit more, because we may get more, more things around here. To, dre uh, to uh, and indeed we do, to wear. These are different. Bright flare leather outfit. Oh, yeah, it's like a beige kind of tone. And this is the blue one. It looks good on me. But I think I think this one in particular looks better on... Looks better on Lazel. Lazel, you've met the, the big boss. You can wear that. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks good. Let's send that to camp and let me wear this. Because the beige pants give me nightmares. And that's that. Devil Don't Rhyme, a verse epic. This is a heroic fantasy in verse form told in the first person by a bold poet who challenges a devil, clearly modeled on Raphael, to an improvised poetry contest to win back the soul of his lover. The following cu couplet has been circled in red ink. If the line doesn't scan, the devil sneers. You forfeit your soul and end in tears. Ha! I'll keep my time and make my rhyme with vim and snap and no down... Came the claw crap. Meter was not a favorite of uh, whoever that is. No meters. Lots of booze. A supplication scrapbook. Leather garb. Oh, this is the. This is the. Uh, the darker one. Still not a fan. We have. Supplication scrapbook over here. The scrapbook collecting supplication notes and letters from mortals to Raphael begging for boons, help, and assistance. Margin notes call out the devil's favorite, as in this example. She says she wants her siblings out of the way so she can take full control of the family business, only so their late mother will be properly honored by its efficiency and profitability. How utterly disingenuous. One has to admire it. There's no profit for me in taking her gnarly little soul. Helping her out or hel helping her would be sheer indulgence. But if I am not indulging myself, why bother with any of this? <laughs> that's that's interesting. Kind of hints that they, they don't, actually don't have use for the souls. In, not because he doesn't care about her soul, but rather because it's apparently an indulgence. 
Yeah, I'll wear this. Me and Karlak, matching outfits. For the moment, I likely will go back to that other outfit that I like. What else? Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. There's a mirror here. Let's have a look at myself. I look good, don't I? Double doors here that I can open. Do it. We don't have inspiration. We do have Rapture. Uh, that is okay for lack of inspiration because I think it's because Lazelle is with us. And she will not stay with us for too long. Because we just wanted her here for... For Raphael. I'll talk to him again. My favorite future clients. Are you ready to accept my kind offer? No. Still holding out hope for another solution. I'll wait. <laughs> You'll be back. I may. Is that blood? On the floor? Or are those petals? Because they kind of look like petals all over, in fact. I don't know. Did I bleed? I don't think I did. But either way, I think that concludes everything that was here. Let's go back, say goodbye to Lazel. Very well. And say hello to Jahira. The great devil grows sloppy. He makes his offer, but only after telling us where to find what we seek. The Orphic Hammer. I suppose we will have to see if this house of hope is open to visitors. Yes, join me. As you wish. And uh, I do wonder if I should bring Lazel with me for for the House of Hope. But I also don't know where it is right now. Karlak. Raphael must be raging we didn't take his deal. Luckily, his desperation made him careless. Did you hear what he said? The hammer's in his House of Hope. If we wanted, we could steal it right out from under his nose. Granted, it wouldn't be easy. Devils guard their treasure by especially lethal means. Yeah, I'm thinking it wouldn't be, but I'm also thinking that maybe he he could just want us to get the hammer either way. What do you suggest? We would need to find a diabolist. One worth their salt should be able to get us into that devil's lair. One last trip to Avernus. At least it'd be for a good reason, right? It would be, yeah. Well, I know who I'm bringing. For sure, bringing Lazel with me. Astarion as well, I think. Useful as the hammer would have been, I'm relieved we're not in the devil's debt. Once his kind has you under their thumb, they won't ever let you go. That's true. That is very true. Also, you should wash uh, a little. Just, no, consume? Did they change? I'm gonna save the game. It was used before. I think. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, it was used and now it's consumed. Interesting I think, uh, I don't know if they changed it on purpose. But, um, but there it is. And it says still used here on the journal. So I don't know. Either way, Will. Raphael thought he could outsmart us. But there are other ways to get the Orphic Hammer. Guaranteed. We know he keeps it in the House of Hope. If we can find a Diabolist, they could help us make our way in. Yep. Light on my feet. Let's see who else has things to say. So, no deal with Raphael. I wouldn't want to give him the satisfaction anyway. Me neither. Halson. There is no deal with the devil that I would willingly partake in. Declining Raphael showed great wisdom. Thank you. Maybe I'll need more pockets. You made a good decision refusing that devil's contract. We'll speak more on this later, but suffice it to say for now, that crown is vital to our purpose here. Yeah, you weren't there. I was sort of sort of ruining the fact that they started talking about the crown all of a sudden. I'm like, oh man, Gale would have things to say. But, yeah. Uh, I'm also thinking, since we're in the mood, you know, also, uh, there's a new feature in the game that allows us to do this and access the inventory of uh, 
Alright, companions. Um, since we're in the mood of changing... Oh. You can't... It doesn't have the feature here. Curious. Either way, of uh, changing clothing. I think I'm going to change Shadowheart's clothes. Let's get to that. As I change mine as well. And what I'm going to give to her is the skimpy one. Because it kind of looks like hers. Except it's a little bit different and we might as well go for it. Lionheart outfit. What the heck is this doing here? When did I get that? Wow. This is... This is uh, Shadowheart's outfit. It is... It is, right? Presumably named for a courageous person, regardless of marvelous de a marvelously decadent outfit. I don't know. It is her outfit, though. Either way, I'm looking for this one. The anarchic blue outfit. So, I'm gonna wear that. And for Shadowheart, you can just do it from here. Yeah, it is based on the same thing. Even the pants, you can see the cut. I think the 3D mesh basically is the same. There you go. Open back. And it is is—it is just... It's its very... Uh, alluring, maybe... maybe I, I wanted to say another word, but whatever. It is. It looks good on her. And she also has sandals. Takes full boots. Sorry. Don't mean to call them sandals. Anyway, the, that's that taken care of. And uh, we have the team ready to go. I think uh, all I need to do is just give Jahira... We, we're going to these... I suppose so. And we'll switch them as needed. Yeah, that's a good time. It's a good time. I just want to stay awake as long as possible. Although we probably have a bunch of a bunch of things that happen. Alright. So that's taken care of. Let's go back in here. And look around some more. Because there are things for us to see. 